You may be wondering where all the flying content has gone on this channel. You may be wondering why I'm not flying Echo Yankee Zulu anymore. Well, I want to answer that question in this video. I also want to talk to you about why I think I've lost my mojo just a little bit when it comes to general aviation flying. And also, I want to tell you exactly why I'm in Hobart, Tasmania right now. Jack and I arrived in Tasmania. We spent a nice weekend in Launceston in a place called Stillwater 7, which is a really nice hotel and restaurant. We then picked up a car, drove to Lake St. Clair, stayed at a brilliant place called Pump House Point, which is this really cool converted old hydroelectric pump house on a 200 meter jetty right out in the middle of Lake St. Clair. And then when we were in Lake St. Clair, we saw this on the news. From 11.59 uh, p.m. tonight, Victoria will enter a seven day circuit breaker lockdown um, and these restrictions will be in place until 11.59 on Thursday the 3rd of June. Yeah, sadly that, actually I don't need my son. Sadly there were a few more cases of coronavirus which had popped up in our hometown in Melbourne. These cases have been reported just a couple of days after we'd left to come down here to Tasmania. And so we thought to ourselves, well, we can either go back home to Melbourne and go back into that lockdown or extend our stay and stay for another week down here in Tasmania. I am really trying to make the most of traveling domestically. You know, you would have seen if you've watched this channel for a while, I used to love traveling internationally, as so many of you watching would have done as well. But not only are we here in Hobart then to avoid that lockdown in Melbourne, but I really wanted an opportunity to, like I say, explore a place that I know fairly well, but not too well, but also I just want to put my tourism dollars somewhere and if I'm not putting them overseas I want to you know support some of the local businesses down here as well so we thought stay for an extra week pay for some accommodation for a week down here go to the restaurants and the cafes and the pubs spend our tourist dollars down here in a beautiful place like Hobart so we benefit from it by experiencing a really cool town and hopefully we can help the local economy a little bit as well by spending our money down here So we've been down here in Hobart then for the last two weeks and that's a big reason why I haven't been flying in Echo Yankee Zulu and putting those videos on the channel but I'll be honest with you I haven't actually flown Echo Yankee Zulu for over a month now and there's another reason not just avoiding Melbourne for the lockdown but there's another reason for that and I want to share that with you in this video because I think it may help some of you who may be in a similar situation and that is that I feel like I've lost a little bit of my enthusiasm and motivation for flying. I think for me the big reason for that is I was supposed to be doing my round the world trip last year and of course with Covid that got cancelled and when you build up to something so big over three or four years and then it doesn't happen it's really hard sometimes to deal with that and I've been having a few problems just dealing with the disappointment of not being able to to do that project. Now of course as you're watching this I know people are having financial issues, health issues, there are way bigger problems than some 40 year old bloke in Australia who can't fly around the world in his own plane. I understand that but just for me personally having been building up to that big goal last year and then not being able to achieve that big goal has put a bit of a dent in my enthusiasm for flying and so I feel like it's not over, the relationship is nowhere near over. Um, there's some reconciliation to do, but I just feel like Flying and I are doing a little bit of a trial separation right now. One thing I'm really guilty of, I wonder if you guys do the same, is that I've also been sitting here thinking, I'm just gonna wait for the world to get back to normal again. I'm just gonna wait for COVID to be out of the way, then everything will be back to how it was. And I can fly around the world once again, and I can tick that off and then I can move on. So instead of constantly waiting like I am at the moment, just waiting for things to get back to normal and waiting for my round the world trip to happen, I think I need to start getting a lot better at, well, defining the new normal. Step there. So to try and get that motivation with flying back again I've decided to do two things. One is to stop being such a loner and flying on my own all the time and involve some friends. So 
I don't normally say coming up in the next few weeks but coming on the channel I'm doing a little series on formation flying we're going to do some formation flying in the Cirrus aircraft I'm going to do that with Stephen from Blue Demon Shannon Abby a couple of the other people that you've seen on this channel as well and the second thing I'm going to try and do is whenever I'm traveling and I encourage you to do this as well if you enjoy aviation whenever you're traveling see if you can integrate that into your trip as well and being down here in Hobart and never having flown on a seaplane before. I know in 14 years I've never had any experience on a seaplane in the past. I thought today I would change that. Oh, oh yeah, or stand on the thingy. Yeah, stand on the thingy. Yeah, no, we could. Will you fall off? Yeah, no. You hold that. No, I reckon it's not long enough for me. No. Oh, bigger push, Mitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Anyway. Melbourne. But I haven't been there for three weeks, so don't okay, worry. Okay. You're all fine. <laughs> Uh, these are my um, my fellow passengers from the flight. Did you have a good oh, flight? Oh, we had an awesome flight. It was good, it was wasn't good. it? Yeah. It was great. It was good. And you're fantastic to fly with. You're so much fun. Oh, you. I did nothing. I yeah, did nothing. but no, you did. The, the actual pilot did all the work. Yeah, really yeah, good. but you opened the window and cooled us down. <laughs> Now, your son's a pilot as well. He's going to be, yes. Do Nicholas. You want to say hi? hi, Nicholas. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Nick. Hi, Jamie. And hi, Billy. Hi, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your time in Hobart. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you. you. Gosh, I love hi. that. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. Don't fall in. It would make a funny last shot, but don't fall in. I just want to say a massive thank you as well to you. You right there watching me right now. Um, it's your motivation and encouragement, it's you watching these videos, liking them, commenting, sending me messages on Instagram, all of that, that reminds me that there's a community of like-minded people out there, people just like me. I'm, I might be the one with the camera here, but at the end of the day, we are a community on this channel and I'm really grateful for the support. So, look, if you're going through a bit of a lull, like I am with flying, I just want you to know you're not alone. I'm hopeful that I'm going to find my mojo again. I'm sure you're going to find your mojo again as well if the same thing's happening to you. But yeah, thank you for the support. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.